Welcome to Linguist Access Podcast, where we all get together to learn more about inspiring stories behind every journey that will give you the courage to push past challenges and overcome obstacles, all for God's glory, with your host, Shalini Auditas. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Linguist Access Podcast. My name is Sha. And of course, today I have a guest. Well, this guest of mine it was not just my student, way back 20, forgot already, okay? I lose count of that. But he is my cousin. He's one of my closest cousins, actually. We both studied nursing together, graduated 2007. But after that, the rest is history, okay? So he started 2015 as a nurse, as an OR nurse. He used to work uh, at Sox Surgeon Hospital, and then after that, he went to St. Elizabeth as an outpatient nurse. Then 2020, he finally decided to, 2021, he finally decided to leave the country and reach for his dreams. And now he is a UK nurse, UK registered nurse. So I'm proud to, of course, introduce to you my cousin and my friend, Hi, Haj. Welcome to the show. Hello. Yes, Haj will be talking to us about his journey. Yes. About becoming a successful UK nurse, the ups and downs of being a nurse. So once again, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be here. Yes. And nice to be talking to Atisha. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. na, ba? <laughs> I know, and uh, kung mapapansin nyo, mas maganda yung skin niya sa akin. <laughs> 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 sa akin. Okay, we're cousins anyway. So, you know, it's not a competition. <laughs> Look at his skin. It's, it, it looks so smooth, and he's really shimmery. Anyway, hi, Hod. I just want to ask about this one good question. You know, I mean, so many people are really desiring to go out of the country, Talagang halos lahat. Kung, kung pag sinabi mong abroad, one of the best places na talagang gusto nilang puntahan, one of the best places that they want to visit or they want to live and work would be United Kingdom. Now that you're there, I want to ask you, do you consider yourself successful? Um, in regards to that question, I think I can consider myself successful in a way um, although I'm still navigating through it, like I can, I can totally say that I'm on, you know, nasa top na talaga. But in terms of sa mga narating, like I've been wanting to work here in United, United Kingdom even before. So United Kingdom and Australia. And now that I'm here in United Kingdom, I'm like, you know, striving to, um, get, like, striving to be in Australia na naman. Parang ganon. So, for me, it's a success because at least natitik ko yung mga gusto kong gawin sa buhay. So, I think, yeah, I can consider myself successful in terms of, um, like, goals um, that I've been accomplishing and I'll be able to accomplish pa in the future. Yeah, true. Awesome. Now, the ladder of success, I think it was not really made easy. Yeah. Now, my question is, Hajj, what was your biggest failure? Oh, my God. <laughs> Saksi ka nito. OMG. I- yes. I- <laughs> <laughs> like, as in, I it's super, like, it's frustrating. Um, alam mo yung parang... How many times you would oh you would think that oh my god I'm this bobo bro <laughs> in terms of like um English like it's just English why 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 I always like you know cut short but yeah um thanks to you say your help and guidance now I'm finally here and I overcome that um failure like I consider that failure talaga I mean. Um, that was one of the hurdles na I have to to like overcome in order for me to be here and yeah I'm always thankful and grateful for your help and 
Sisko, kung alam nyo lang, like, pray, <laughs> saan, saan kami nag, nag-review, oh my God. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, sa kahit sa, sa dentist na may nakikita ka sa uh, inspeksyon ng ano. <laughs> Ayan, yeah. But you know what? Those are really good memories to look back and look at you now. I mean, everyone wants to be on your shoes yeah. because, you know, uh, going there is something that, you know, not, not for everyone. It's actually a privilege. It is a privilege because, you know, it, you go through a process and the yung process kasi noon, hindi siya smooth. Yeah. You know? Marami siyang, marami siyang hurdles na pwede, dapat mo siyang i-overcome. Now, when you failed your exam in the IELTS, like, how did you get back into shape? Like, you know, hindi dapat. Dapat ipatuloy ko pa yeah. rito. For me, I think um, one of the motivators is um, yung family, like the future of my family, um, my child, because um, looking back when I was in the Philippines, I was like um, thinking what future I can give to him. Like being a nurse, let's be, you know, let's be honest. Being a nurse in the Philippines is really like, it's like, yeah, you're a nurse, but alam mo yun, you can't give a better future with your salary or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the reasons why I like, I need to get get back in shape. <laughs> and aside from you motivating me like, oh, that's it. Just snap out of it. Ganon. Um, move on. Review na ulit tayo. Ganon. So, um, I'm just uh, just thankful na I, I am surrounded with people like you. And syempre, ang family, my mom, na very su- supportive, si Pader. Yan, James also, yun, yung mga inspiration ko sila na, um, na kahit pa ilang beses man. So, kailangan mo talagang bumangon, di ba? So, yun. Yes. But you see, now you are an achiever, you're an overcomer. Now, um, the thing is, I want to ask a lot of questions, but is there anything or any type or question that you know i could ask you that you think you could explain more about your life in uk is there any uh yeah (laughs) Yeah. um what are the like struggles and um your expectations more when you were when you were in the philippines na na experience mo na ba yung mga, exp- mga expectations mo when you came here if i understood it right were there any expectations you had before na ngayon alam mo na expectation is also your reality so yung expectation is also your reality or it's a different thing i don't know Ex- expectation versus reality yes. in other words uh, uh, yeah yeah so yeah can you explain about that um, so to be really honest, huh? um, I was really expecting that coming here in the UK, um, there's a big or drastic change in terms of, well, it is a drastic change because, come on, it's a totally different environment, but it's, um, something parang bitin sa expectations ko. Uh, like working as a nurse, I I didn't um kumbaga parang hindi ko na expect sa sarili ko na yeah I could be working as a nurse, but I wasn't expecting na um workload wise it's easy like unlike in the Philippines it's easy, but um in terms of the salary. Uh, it's not the one that, you know, kumbaga, when I was in the Philippines, I was like, oh my God, I have this amount. Um, sab- wag na natin sabihin ng amount, okay? So, oh my God, I have this monthly, ganyan, ganyan. So, I I was not confronted with the fact na, syempre, di ba, you're here, so you're also spending um, this amount of money. So, medyo... Na ano ako doon sa idea na ay sa part na yon na parang ah hindi ito yung inaexpect ko but 
but you you can like uh thinking ahead of like you know few years from now thinking i have like a lot of avenue naman as a nurse we have a lot of avenues to to go kung gusto nating kumita ng pera kung gusto natin maggrow so yun lang naman yung lamang natin yung advantage natin as a nurse kasi nga um we can do a lot of things but for now yun yung aking parang nagiging expectation versus reality ko na parang ay i feel like i'm still poor <laughs> <laughs> Sino bang mayaman? Okay. Sino bang walang utang? <laughs> yeah, true. Actually, uh, I think uh, I think this, this will always be a share of every nurse or everyone who is working abroad na the reality is like dito sa US, you're spending dollars. You're earning yeah. dollars pero you think you're earning that much. Pero ang ang bahay, babayaran mo, malaki, may mga percentage tax. Yeah, so tax. coming to terms, maingitip ko, parang alo lang siya, pare, pareho lang siya. Yeah. <laughs> pareho lang, di ba? If you talk about it. Exactly. Tapos, yung life. So, oo, pero at the end of the day, yun na nga, at least we have options on doing more. I yeah. think that's that's one thing for sure. We have, we have also options na pwedeng tipirin, na kung titipid-tipid ka lang talaga, kaya pa naman, kaya yeah. lang. Pero syempre, the reality na kala natin bulto, yung makukuha natin. Well, mm. reality is, yeah, yeah, that's not going to be the case, <laughs> unfortunately. For now, maybe, for now. Yes, right? yes, of for course, now. positive tayo. Yes, yes. Now, all right, Judge, before we go in, uh, yes, because this is my last question. Is there one piece of actionable advice you can give to someone with their journey to any English-speaking countries, especially you two, Na I know you know you have a blog also. Yes. So yes, I think you you have a lot of good content there. But this time, I want to ask you what specific actionable advice you could give our audience who is maybe thinking, you know, considering overcoming failure right now and just wanting to go to YouTube. What actionable advice would you want to give? Okay. Um. One thing is. You have to make that decision. Ah, uh, eto yung sabi mo before. Like, I'm happy that you're making this decision not not for yourself but for your family. Because um, it's easy to give up. Eh, if especially if you're like just thinking of yourself lang. Like, oh, I can just you know I can work the man other work here in Jensen or in the in the Philippines. But I started to. Um, think deeper, dig deeper on the purpose. So, yon na isip ko nga yung future ng family ko. Sempre sila mother, they're getting older, so kailangan you know for the. <laughs> so yon. Um, you have to think. Uh, think now and decide now. And if you have, if you ca- uh come to that decision. Just act on it. So first thing, if you want to go abroad, especially here in UK, in actually in all English-speaking countries, start with your English exam. So that's IELTS and OET. And I think if you have uh, decided already, like you're 100% sure that you want to to change not only your life but your your family's life then do it take the exam take the leap of faith as you said before ayan um take action and yun mag-aral nang mabuti <laughs> you access to <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you thank you thank you so much and yeah, that's actually true. I mean, if I am going to, you know, if you ask me, is there any person you know who would always try and strive hard to achieve his dreams, it would be him. I mean, always. I like you know, ngayon na out. Kumbaga, 
na-check niya na yung kanyang bucket list na pupunta siya ng UK. And now, he wants to explore more. Okay, going to Australia. So, can you imagine that? Ganon. Uh, talagang, he, he wants to, you only live once. And I think yan yung, if there's any opportunity to explore life, you will do that. You go out of his way to do it. And for you out there, I just want to tell you that the road is not going to be, I mean, yes, the road is going to be bumpy and going to be bumpier each day. But you know what? You just have to have that leap of faith with what uh, Hajj just said, no? Talagang be an overcomer. Kasi lahat po tayo naghirap. <laughs> was not made easy. Lahat po tayo may kanya-kanyang testimony. Kaya I really want to have this kind of devahaj. Yes. Ako, I had my share of failure. I had my share of struggles. And, you know, the thing about it, commonality lang, hindi po kami na-give up. And for Hajj to now go to another, you know, country, no? Totally different. Pero, for him, if this country could give the best not just for him or for but for also for his family why would he think twice going there right he would do everything to just provide them with the best kind of life and that's really i'm i'm proud of you Hajj. That and i'm so proud you of you as well oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> the feeling is mutual oh, oh. <laughs> diba papunta ka lang ng uk <laughs> ikaw ay paalis <laughs> You're not, you're not only a good teacher, no, but you can also be a source of inspiration. Like, um, to, like, a lot of people naman talaga na, alam mo yun, parang nawawala na ng pag-asa, parang, oh, it's been how many years na para, di ba? When you were reviewing for your NCLEX, you were like, oh, alam, kaya ko pa ba to? Ganyan, ganyan. Well, di ba, just ganyan, dyan ka na. So, yeah. As <laughs> in, talaga, Kinausap ko si Hatch, sabi ko, Hatch, tama ba itong decision ko? Ang <laughs> hirap na talaga, promise. Like, I could not, you know, parang ito yung pinaka na alam mo yung hindi ka na matutulog kasi feeling mo, it's a waste of time kung matutulog ka. So, walang tulogan talaga. Kasi the moment, you know, my, I just want to share to you, my daughter even asked me, Mom, are you even sleeping? <laughs> so, ganun yung aming drama ni Hatch. And, Yes. Pero, you know, the, the best part is that her, uh, Hajj will always, you know, do everything to achieve his dreams. But on the side, hindi niya rin nakakalimutan to live a quality of life. Talagang, yun na, nagbablog siya. So, this is, I think, the best time, the best transition is, I well, to our audience, because I know you have a vlog. Now, uh, tell us what's the best way to find or contact you and or at, le- at least get a good dose of content. Yeah, actually, uh, my vlog is all about like um, my not really everyday um, life here because it's really hard to do it. Uh, like thinking of it, working and vlogging every day. My God. But <laughs> para na hasil ako no 100%. So what I do is <laughs> um whenever we have like travels we go to different cities here in United Kingdom as much as possible I try to vlog it and yung mga events namin here in Southampton with Filipinos because there's a lot of Filipinos here guys so if you if you are considering going to United Kingdom consider going here in Southampton it's easier kasi nga mas madaming Pinoy alam mo yon pwede kang makamit ng um, second family and mga close friends and it's makes uh, it's making the kumbaga ang hirap na you're uh, away from your family it's easier kasi you have this um, support so yon uh, my vlog is about that um, about people about uh, travel um, sometimes I do mukbang. <laughs> I mukbang cooking show. <laughs> Wala lang. Ano lang for the for the you know for the fun fun yan ganyan. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Pero you know what? Talagang relaxing panoorin yun na. Yeah. Continue sorry. Uh, ayan. So, uh, search na lang sa YouTube. Um, H T W O. A-U-D-I. 
Tama ba? <laughs> Parang hindi ko sure. Okay, don't, worry. Don't, don't worry. We're gonna post it here. Yeah, to our audience out there, we're gonna post all his bio. Yes. So you'll be able to browse it. And maybe it's also time that you talk about life in UK, especially for those who is, who is aspiring to live and work in UK. Because uh, for all our audience, they really want to know about it. Like, ako, yeah, to be honest, when I watch your video, parang nag-relax talaga ako. And it, it feels good. Because you're like bringing me to places yeah. na I haven't been there. Yeah, I haven't been. And it's good to experience it na para bang first hand. Even yung iyong pagluto ng ampalaya. <laughs> Nag-ampalaya, ipo-boil yung ampalaya. Oh, diba? So, I watched the video. <laughs> Buti na lang mo. Piece of advice ni Father. Right. Oh, miss ko na mga luto ni Father. Thank you very much. And I just want again to tell our audience that, you know, I I want you to get inspired. Be inspired that, you know, at the end of the day, you may think that your experience is exceptional, something strange, and you can, you know, be too critical about yourself. But, you know, it's not about just you. All of us, if we want big change we need to have that big move and part of that moving big is failing big that's true that's yes. true so once again thank you very much thank, thank you. you very much ha. thank you i hope to see you around <laughs> anywhere i don't know, yeah, you I don't know if I you're going to hit uk <laughs> Yeah, I hope you're still there. I hope you're still there. But I'm really praying for the best for your family, especially that you'll be re reunited very soon. So God bless you, Hodge, and to all our audience. I hope you get inspired. Thank you for listening to Linguist Access Podcast. Please give us a review on iTunes. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next episode.